Bits of news continues with hope and then heartbreak for a local family. Ashley Summers has been missing for 14 years now, and police were certainly hopeful that they had a break in this case today. Our Stephen Hernandez live with why the search will have to continue. Stephen. Thank you, Tiffany. The main area of interest was this hill area next to this road bridge and the wooded area across the street. While we were here, there were also residents and passers by looking on, waiting to see if anything would come out of this. FBI agents took out their tools to dig, to prod, shift, or reveal anything that may bring to light what happened to Ashley Summers. Well, obviously, it's open. We don't know what's happened to Ashley, uh, and we want to bring that answer to the family. Summers first went missing back in 2007, a few miles from this location near West 44th Street and Train Avenue. FBI spokesperson Vicki Anderson says agents first arrived at 1115 in the morning, searching through several different spots along the hill. We have our evidence response team and Cleveland Police Department out here, and we're sifting through some areas of interest. While Anderson didn't specify why they were there or what they were looking for, agents were analyzing bones. But after over two hours of digging and analysis, Anderson announced that they did not find what they were looking for. Another brick wall on the ongoing cold case. Those are non-human bones that they found, that those are animal bones. This is not the first time a search in the Ashley Summers case led to nowhere. But Anderson said these searches are crucial. But if we didn't, um, you know, we'd be second guessing and, and we need to come out and check this off. It was something we felt we needed to follow up on. The search for Ashley Summers continues with investigators hoping today's search helps jog memories for anyone who may know something about her disappearance. We urge anyone with any information, it will remain confidential, uh, to please call our office. Back live now, still no specifics on anything regarding this search, but Anderson did add that when it comes to an investigation that's been going on for so long, it's important to keep hope. In Cleveland's west side, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.